Today, we're going to handle some web scraping of Southwest flights only using ChatGPT4 Vision. So you can better understand the demo, I want to show you a quick flow chart of the code. So first it's going to start, then it's going to use the Selenium driver to do a Southwest query on flights. Then the Selenium driver is going to actually just take a screenshot of that page. It's going to send that screenshot to ChatGPT4 Vision, and it's just going to ask a question. Hey, any flights below $150? If no, just going to exit. If the answer is true, it's going to send an email with the screenshot and the flights to the person. And then the person can actually just take action and book the flight. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, let's do a pip install python-env, ice cream request, and selenium. Next, we need to make a .env file. Go ahead and make that. And then you're going to have an OpenAI API key put your OpenAI API key here, make another token here called Google token, and put your token here. This key here obviously is to use the API. This Google token here is to be able to send yourself an email. Here are the imports we're gonna use, Selenium, Time, OS, Base64, uh, .env, request, ice cream for debugging, JSON, SMTP, live for the email, and then email message. First thing we need to do is load your environment variables with .env load. Let's go ahead and build main. And the first thing we're going to do is driver equals webdriver.chrome. That's the Selenium driver we're going to pull up Chrome. Next, we need to set the URL of Southwest. And so here is the URL. Here is the departure date. You can see the date here. Destination, airport code, D-E-N, L-A-X, passenger. The easiest way to build that URL, just come over here to the Southwest website, put in your dates. And when you hit search, you're going to see this big giant URL here. Then you can actually just pick out the different elements. You take this URL and that's what you copy into your code. So you can build up this nice URL, any one that you want. Next line of code is driver.get. That's going to actually tell the Selenium driver to go ahead and get that URL. Next line of code here actually waits at least 10 seconds for this element called form mix in submit button. It's got to actually click the button to do the search. It takes a moment for that page to load, so we're just going to sleep five seconds. Now we're going to set up a path to our actual PNG, and then we're going to call the driver, Selenium driver, to actually save the screenshot with that path. And this is where we actually build a new function called AskChatGPT, where we're going to send it the image, and then we're going to get the response and print the response. Come back to the top of your code above main, and let's actually build AskChatGPT, sending it the image path. First thing we're going to do is read in the API key os.environ.get, our API key. Next, we need to actually encode our image because it's a local image. We're not pointing it to something on the web. We need to encode that image. The way we do that is going to be a with open, the image path, uh, read as a binary. And then we're going to base64 encode it, and we're going to send that encoding to ChatGPT4 Vision. This line here just calls the function we just built. Now we need to build up the call to actually do a request on OpenAI. And here are our headers, so application JSON, and then we need to put in our API key for authorization. Here's the prompt that goes along with our screenshot, and we're going to ask, is there a flight that is cheaper than $150? Follow these instructions. If the answer is yes, respond with yes, and then provide the flight times and price. If the answer is no, respond with no. Time to build up our payload. So the model we're using is GPT-4 Vision Preview, Messages, User Content, type text. Here's the prompt that we just built up here. Next is going to actually be the image, and the image URL is our path to image PNG, base64, and then that is the actual data that we're sending. Max tokens we're going to say is 300. Chat GPT4 Vision has been implemented in the chat completions uh, API, so that's the one we're going to call, passing it the headers and the payload, and then getting a response. We're going to return this dictionary entry, which is actually the content, the answer, back to the person who called us. Once we get the response back, we're going to say, hey, is no in the answer? If no is there, we're just going to exit. Otherwise, what we're going to do is send an email. So this is the message subject, the message body, and then the image path. So it's going to load up that PNG and send it to our email so we can take action to book the flight. Here is our send email function we're just going to use as is. I'm going to be posting a video at the end that goes through the exact details of this function and how you set this up in your Gmail so you can actually do this. Let's go ahead and run it again so you can see some debug. Here is Southwest popping up. Here is the URL. Here is the output. So we did print the prompt. 
we print that we're asking chat GPT here is it coming back content is yes there are flights here are those flights here's some more details here of how many completion tokens prompt tokens and total tokens that is a response that we send and then we say the email was sent if you enjoyed the video I really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like as I said before, this video here at the end is going to show you how to set up your Gmail so that your Python script can actually log into it and send you emails. Thanks for watching. Until next time.